this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the BQB or body quill betis in the vise. I have a size 14. This is partridge grub straight dye and this this borbless nymph hook a little bit like a check nymph but with a straight dye and I like this I like the look of it. The bead is a 2.3 mm brass bead in gold. And to quickly go through the materials, this is going to be a betis in like a golden color, golden brown. So for this I'm going to use, to start off, it's going to be some vivus iridescent or iris thread. This one is the I-22, is this pearl color. This is going to be the little tag or the tail at the back. Then I'm going to take some Vivas body quill, the BQ11, this one is the color tan. To rib the fly I'm going to use some ultra wire in the size small and in the color gold. You could also change this up with a few other colors. So I've also tied these with amber or you could go with brown, copper. You can just change up all the colors of your fly to get the green, to get an olive, to get brown, dark black, grey, any colour that you really like. And then for the thorax I'm going to use some straggle string and the straggle string is a micro chenille so it's like a polar chenille but just really small so it works really well on this size 14. This is in the colour copper brown and is this more like brown golden colour really really nice one and so all of these materials that I'm going to use are quite new in the shop so if you want to have a look just go check this out and then also new in the shop is some Swiss straw in brown and this is going to be the thorax cover and for the thread is my favorite the nano silk 80 knot in brick beige or beige I don't know which how they call it nowadays but it's this nice beige color. So to start I'm going to just put down a little bit of thread and then back up right to the bead. Cut off the excess and here I'm going to take my iris or iridescent thread from Weavers. This one is the pearl color. Just going to cut a little piece off and tie this in the whole length on my way down and here you can choose if you want to fly a little bit longer, a little bit shorter I'm just going to stop here just before it really starts to bend down a whole lot and then on my way up we can leave this hanging for now I'm going to take the wire and this one is a size small if you were to tie this in a size 16 or 18, I would go with extra small. And then if you tie it a little bit bigger, then it's not going to imitate the betis, but you can imitate a whole lot of other mayflies. Then I would go with a brassy size, or then for the biggest one, medium. So here I'm going to tie this up on my way up, right to the bead, and this time also the whole length of the body, this way you're not going to have any bumps here right in the middle. Then for the body, this body quill and this is really one of my favorite materials for all kinds of bodies. You can use it for dry fly bodies, for these nymphs, emergers, just any small fly that you want to tie. So just cut away a little piece, I'm going to double it over my thread and tie it down. This way it goes a little bit faster and I'm going to take this down right to where I tied in the tail and the wire. Then back up again and here you don't have to be too precise with your taper of the underbody, we can build this up with the body quill. So with 
touching turns are slightly overlapping and are going to build up the shape of the body. And I really like this tan color. We have it in a whole lot of different ones. And this one just really looks natural with just this little bit of sparkle. And then once you reach the head, tie it off with a few turns, if I can get this, there we go. There we go. And then just cut off the excess. And then I'm going to counter wrap with the wire. You could also go the opposite way. But this will just add this little bit more security to the body. So five, six turns. And then as we go the opposite way, we have to do one turn over, one turn in front. And repeat this three times. Then the wire is going to be secured. Bend and break this away. And here we can cut off the tag and then fluff it up. For the thorax cover, I'm going to use this Swiss straw in brown. And once you get it out of the package, first it's really bundled like this and it's quite thick. So, what I'm going to do is to or what I've already done is to fold this out, then cut it in pieces, in four pieces, and then you have just a fourth. And then what I do is to fold this up again like it comes in package, and then you have this really thin sheet of paper, and this is going to be perfect for the sizes 14, 12s. 16s, and I'm going to tie this in right up inside the bead and go down just to about the point of the hook. We don't want the thorax to be too long. Then I've cut a little piece of the straggle string, the color is copper brown, and I'm going to cut the end of square. This way it's a little bit easier to tie in. And here if your thread is jumping forward, we can just spin it counterclockwise a little bit and then it's going to jump towards the back and catch the material. And then tie in your straggle string and the Swiss straw. We make a little base here for the thorax. And then I'm starting to wind this up like you would with any chenille and this one is really sturdy so you can really pull on it and to get it to lock in place and as I go I'm going to fold back all these little fibers and then once I reach the bead and then tying it off Two, three turns and you can really pull on the thread, both the thread, the nano silk and the straggle string are really really durable so you can really put a lot of pressure and really tie it down. Then I'm going to make a little space for my thorax cover. And I'm going to take this over here, right in the middle. Catch it with the thread. And here you have to be a little bit careful to not cut right through this material. And then fold everything back. And I'm going to do a few turns here, right behind the bead. And this is one of my favorite things with 
the nano seal because that it's so thin, so you can bury it right behind the bead and you won't even see it. Then whip finish, two, three, four, five, pull tight, cut off first the thread and then reach in with your scissors, pull the Swiss draw a little bit up and cut it away. And then the last thing to do is to cut the straggle string to shape. You could also leave it like this, but I just think the legs are a little bit too long. So I'm just going to give it a little trim. Mostly the ones that are going towards the back. So I can get a nice clean body and then the thorax in front with legs. But we can see here that we have this really nice profile with this slim body, the little tails or the tag at the back. Some nice legs, really easily done with the straggle string. And the brass bead is just going to pull this down a little bit, not too much. It make this swim really well. So there we have the BQB here in another color, so tie this up in a whole lot of different colors and just mix and experiment with the materials and the colors. So there we have the BQB. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time!